With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A block kept on a rough inclined plane as shown in the figure remain at rest up to a maximum force of 2 Newton down the inclined plane. The maximum external force up the incline that doesn't move the block is 10 Newton. The coefficient of static friction between the block and the plane is what? So you can see the diagram. If we apply 2 Newton, right, uh, then the block doesn't move. And this is the maximum force we can apply down the plane. Right, so if I uh, draw the FVD for the first case, so this will be the 2 Newton acting down the plane and here the friction force will acting up the plane like this and mg sin theta will be acting down the plane like this okay so this 2 Newton is the maximum force which can be applied down the plane so that the block doesn't move right so here I will write mg sine 30 degree and this will be the friction force. So I will write 2 plus mg sine 30 degree is equals to f. So from here you can write 2 is equals to f minus mg sine 30 is half. So th this is the maximum force that can be applied downward. So this will be also the maximum friction force, right? So if you see, we can calculate the maximum friction force just by using mu n. So here the n is can be calculated by writing the force equation in the uh, perpendicular direction of the plane. So this is cos 30 so these two are balancing each other so i will write the n is equals to mg cos 30 degree right so just put this value right so this will be the maximum friction force and this friction force will act in the in in the case when the 2 newton the maximum friction the maximum force is applied down the plane right so just put the value of maximum friction force that is mu mg cos 30 that is root 3 by 2 so i will write mu mg root 3 by 2 minus mg by 2 is equals to 2 very simple so this is the equation for the first situation and if you see in the second situation it is said that uh, the maximum force that can be applied up the plane so that block does not move is 10 newton right okay so let's draw the diagram again so if you see here this is the maximum friction force so we are applying the force up the plane and that to maximum so in this case the friction force will act down the plane and mg sin theta again act the down the plane so mg sin theta is mg by 2 and we already calculated the f max value that will act here and that is this and this is the maximum friction force since we applied the maximum force of 10 newton so here the maximum friction force will act right okay so we can uh, write down the force equation along the plane so i will write f is equal to 10 is equal to mg by 2 plus mu mg root 3 by 2 so if you see there are two equation equation 1 and equation 2 right okay so we want the mu right so if i subtract the two equation equation 2 minus equation 1 then we can get a equation on the mu right so i will write equation 2 minus equation 1 right so so i will add the two equation 2 plus equation 1 right so you can see if i add in on the left i will get, get 12 and uh, this mg by 2 will get cancelled out and you will get mu mg root 3 so if you see in the question 
right uh, so here it is given that maximum 2 newton can be applied down the plane so that block does not move and maximum 10 newton can be applied up the plane so that block does not move right so now we want mg so to calculate mg we can subtract these two equations so i will write now equation 2 minus equation 1 so if you see equation 2 minus equation 1 so i will write 8 is equals to so mu mg root 3 by 2 will get cancelled out and you will get mg so now you have the value of mg just put that value of mg in the third equation and you will get the value of mu so i will write 12 is equals to mu mg is 8 root 3 right so i will write mu is equals to 12 by 8 root 3 so this will be 3 2 so you will write root 3 by 2 as the mu and this will be your answer now you could see the correct option is a root 3 by 2 simple thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today